just have a beehive. Uh, yeah, I'm actually bringing my pet beehive over. Yeah, yeah, How yeah. dare your cat be upset? <laughs> your cat's from hell. <laughs> my pet beehive. Hello, Hello beautiful. So welcome, welcome back to, to my Chanel. Chanel. Synchronise Ooh, women on the uh, game. Let's go swimming. Oh, well, maybe not Synchronise yeah. swimming. Take yeah. her swimming on the first day Hot in case she's a cat. A terrible crime. Him boots have been stolen. Damn, on the game. Damn. On the game. I don't know what's happening. No, me neither. So, my lovelies, welcome back to another episode of My Cat my from, cat from hell. hell. Sorry, I, I couldn't remember what the show was yeah, I know, I was also <laughs> a bit like, my cat is the problem unless you oh, care for it. Oh, my biscuit from oh, hell. Oh, you look, you trying to jump. Have I? Bitch. My biscuit from hell. My ding are you that sort? This was quite a well-received show here on the Chanel. I was yeah. really surprised. Yeah. I didn't quite know what to expect from it. Brand new. A lot of things sort of didn't happen, but apparently the presenter of this uh, TV oh, no, show... Oh, no, what you going to say? No, no, it's all good. He, like, helped lots of people with their cats. And he's got oh, a very okay. active YouTube channel right oh, now. Oh, really? Oh, I, okay. I haven't checked it out because I don't want to give any spoilers. Okay, we might okay. watch one yeah. or two a bit later, Normally, maybe. when you start a sentence like that, it's always like, oh... How they will dare you? A beam of light. What Ooh, is this? We're being ascending. Oh, we're ascending no. to heaven. Oh, Jesus! My wife don't act like that. Bunch of angels! Oh, no, hang on. And today's special guest is really sweet. I forgot to Oh, yeah. I'm not part of the been? furniture now. Yeah, yeah you are. Yeah, part of the studio, part of the ship. Part of the gaping orifice. What did you just say? Yes, yes. how oh, are you? Very What's excited. The yes. I'm very tired after our little weekend away at DragCon. Oh, yes, we had a weekend yeah. away at DragCon. Right, my lovelies, are you ready for a top comment from the last Yeah, episode? and it's my top comment. Yeah. Is it, it, says, yeah, what yeah, it, it says, says, what a bunch of... <laughs> oh, well, under YouTube's policy, I have to bleep <laughs> that. It's not my slur. And the top comment is by Leggy Boys Forever. Oh, oh. maybe it was Leggy Boy, he was oh, over there flashing his wig no, at you. Maybe it was, yeah. Who knew making a cat less hateful was to care and provide for them properly as a semi-domesticated Can animal? you imagine? I mean, honestly. Sometimes I do wonder, these people that like get pets, have you done no research on no, like, you, what it, the pet it requires? makes it look like they've just gone, Oh, oh, one of them. Yeah, 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 I get, I yeah, get a nice yeah. cat. Yeah. What do you mean it needs to be fed? What do you mean it needs to have places to hide? I just dribbled. The medicine is kicking in. <laughs> so, Mr. Biscuit, do you want to sit on your little pillow whilst we look oh. at cats on the internet? Meow. Meow, meow, bitch. Uh, if your babies cry, put some whiskey on their gums. Without any further ado, what's the beverage today? Oh, I'm having some Dr. Pepper today. Dr. We, had, we had monster filming my video, so we I don't want to have more energy drinks. Don't need any bad, no. No, no, no Debbie, don't say I'm on the Boop Swalier Max. Pop in your, oh, hang on, my loves. Right, right into, into your booty hole. Into the, oh. I mean... Wow, crazy. You're crazy, girl. Oh. Do you want to wear mummy's wig? Oh, my oh, lovely hair. Mummy's wig. Oh. Deranged. Oh, she faded. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, music. tattoos? Oh, oh we're never going to get a job like that. A musician by night and a cat behaviorist by day. I've met cats with all kinds of problems. Oh, I didn't think to Yes. Ow! Oh, I've never bang. met one I couldn't help. In my career, I've worked with thousands of cats, one-on-one, -on -one, analyzing their behaviors and retraining them and their guardians. When we're their guardians. Does he, does he like still that. look like this now? You said he's got an active YouTube channel. You haven't seen any. And so I have seen some photos. It does look like she's an Ozempic queen. Oh, but no. we should oh, wait and okay, see. Okay. <laughs> Relationships are at an end. Oh, getting to the, the point where I feel resentful. She was and cat week. guardians yeah. have reached their emotions. They're just going to play the same episode yeah, again. It's the same time. I'm their last hope. Oh. Oh. Oh, you got scratched. It's because you've got him in a pretty helpless position. The bigger the hoop, the bigger the hope. Oh, yeah. Whoa! Oh, happy days. My cat from beyond the grave. Oh, the cat. That's not a cat. The snake ate my cat. The snake. Sinkful to the swan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, look. Predator activated. Oh. Why are they playing this like? I don't know. The sound effect. Are we watching a horror yeah, film? Yeah, like, what's what going on? Alien 3. And they just put like a, this green, time they put, like, a, a green filter over the... I must have the serpent! Bring me your... Child Avery. Avery. <laughs> the introduction to this show is kind of wild, because they yeah. did the same thing last time, wasn't it like... I can't remember what the last cat was called, but it was like... Wolf. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm Sean Roach. Hello. And I'm Lindsay Roach. We've been together for actually about 10 years. And that was the last time I oh, cut well, my I fringe. Look at those trousers. Became oh, Trini would be very upset. Trini would be very upset, but also portable twister. Oh yeah, I'll put your left face on my left. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. After our previous cat, Sundari, I would passed change away, if it was I broke. decided to make a secret purchase and um, I bought Avery. I had no, such a good no, uh, We no, do not agree with no, secret no, pet purchases. Secret pet, no. no, secret pet purchases is a bad idea. A, because you don't know if someone might be allergic, yep. or B, might not just not want that. I feel that way about Christmas, because like the most time that like these, these like cat and dog homes, the most intensive time for them is January, because yeah. like people are giving away pets because they get given them as like they gifts over Christmas. Back to rehoming, don't really they? Really sad. Poor little, little beasties. Yeah. Oh, 2006. Oh, when I was 16 years young. Wait, and really? I was... Oh, that's an easy way to calculate know, your yeah, age. That's it's now 1990. Yeah, 1990. When she passed, I was just totally heartbroken. And when Avery came in, I think that there was some resentment that I had towards her. Oh. Apparently, also though, like sphinx cats are meant to be the most similar to dogs. Really? In their terms of like, you need to train them, you need to keep them like active, and they're very like bolshy and stuff. Mm -hmm. They're completely but specialist also, breed. What he just said then was he had a cat and he was heartbroken that it died. So, so he felt resentful to the new cat. Yeah, and it's like, but this is the thing, like if your if your partner just had a cat that died and you get them like also a different cat, like a different mm. breed of cat as well. It's, I still think that's like one of those things that just don't do it. Like at least have the conversation, would they want another one? Cause it might feel like you're trying to replace it. And then yeah, like, I yeah, agree. No. Sometimes like surprising someone during grief is maybe not like the best motion, no. the best idea. Yeah. Like you need to give people time to process things. And yeah. maybe then like three years later, they would have been like, I think it's time for a new cat. Mm -hmm. I've worked with wildlife for 10 years oh. and you know, and, and referred She's to as a, a wildlife serpent, quick. Oh. All in all, I have about 20 different exotic Animals, mainly arthropods, so things that creep and crawl. The animal room is also my office, so I spend a lot of time in there working on the computer. And I do kind my... of love the fact that Sphinx cats kind of look like goblins. Oh, I, hate, like... I actually really don't like them. Do you cancel? Don't like them. Oh, them. I love them. I think they're so funny. They're funny little like gargoyles. Are they creatures. one of those like cats so that have loads of problems? Like, is it one of those like problematic breeds that we've bred because actually? So it, the reason why they're hairless is due to a genetic, uh, it's like a recess, I think it's a recessive gene, but they have, they have hair, it's just really, really, really short mm. and it falls out, but you do have to put them in like SPF and stuff if you're taking them oh. out. My old cat used to just sit on the computer on my lap. No problems. She was interested in things, like but she wasn't gonna take it to the level that Avery does. She wants to get on top of the cages and, that can be an issue because cages can buckle. You have a screen top and yeah, I wouldn't be allowing all this to happen. I don't want snakes and tarantulas and scorpions out of their cages. Avery is like a toddler that you give in a bowl full of sugar and five cups of coffee, pretty much. Get off! I hate it. All the time. Oh no! Avery, no, get back. I'm lucky and um, I get to leave the house and go to work. The oh, rest so of the you, day. Oh, so you were like, here, have this cat, bye. Bye, oh, girls, yeah, you gotta deal with it, bitch. It's because they're terrible. I get to watch the cat, chase the cat, tell eat the, cat the cat no. Watch the Sometimes cat, I chase see the, the cat, cat, eat the cat. My anxiety oh, the cat. level just oh, no, automatically don't rises. Be unwell. Oh. Throughout our house, we have a lot of art. Um, we have a lot of valuables. Mm -hmm. She risks destroying them. Oh. Why do cats do well, that? Um, that seems to be like a common thing with like knocking things off the... Is, do you know, I love the ones where they're like, where they think they're not being watched and they're getting it to the edge yeah, and then yeah. someone's like, no, no, and they're like, push it back. No, 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 get it, no, no, no. <laughs> I think it's so sneaky. Like, what is it that makes them do that? Do you know? No, I don't know a lot about cats' behaviour, strangely enough. I know that not every cat does it, but when you get a cat that does it, it's like, oh, everything that can fall, glue it down. Yeah. It is quite sweet, though. I like a little mischievous thing in the house. We'll start fighting over Avery. Come on, no! You know, I'll say, like, you don't have to get so mad. She's just a cat. No, 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 no. And then... She's not just a cat. 
No. And then, you know. She's not just a cat. It feels very similar to one of those conversations that's like, oh, I'm the fun dad and I only see the kid at the weekends. But yeah. like, actually the mum is like parenting like 90% of the time. This feels like this lady's just gone, have the cat. Oh, the cat's fine. But yeah, I'm oh, also never at home. Never, so yeah, I never I don't see the cat. Do so I don't mind that it's a bit mischievous when I'm home because I never have to experience it, but all day, every day. Yeah, it would be exhausting. Yeah, it? dead now. She's, uh, she's something else. How many hours is she a piece of work? She is. That, that cat did not hiss there. As no. newlyweds, we really don't need the extra tension or the stress that Avery can sometimes bring. Oh, don't Why did you I'm get kind of hoping that cat? magic is real and that Jackson holds the key to some sort of ability to, you know, wave a magic wand or cast some sort of spell. Other than that, it's tough for me to believe that he's going to be able to come in here and, and... For someone with such a specific fringe style, she doesn't have what I would usually associate with this style of fringe, which is like a rockabilly, mm. housewife, 1950s kind of sexy biker mm -hmm. girl pin-up look. I don't know. Make the changes that we want. She but does have peace tattoos. We're hopeful. Oh, well, we know what that means. Cool. I'm I'm dealing with is much more human than feline, but my job remains the same. It's regardless. actually a furry. A yeah, it is. Yes, it's actually grown a man. skinless furry. <laughs> Hey there. Hey, how's, how's it going? going? Hey. Great, man. How hey, you Jackson. Doing? I'm Sean. Sean. Hi, Isn't I'm it Lindsay. funny how like whenever we're put on the spot and someone's like, "Hello, how are you?" We never go. It's actually really awful. Yeah, but, really you know, terrible. I'm having yeah. a sad New yeah. Year, and my cat oh. is terrorizing me. And everyone's just sad like, new "Everyone's year. like, oh no, I'm absolutely fine. Yeah, it's wonderful." A sad New <laughs> Year. <laughs> Ridiculous behavior. Grow up. Sad new Have a sad new year. Have a sad new year. Oh. Hey, this is, is Avery. Hey, Avery. Hello. What's up? When I first saw Jackson, I was excited because he wasn't like an old cat guy like I was afraid of. Have a seat, my friend. That seems to be okay. a theme. Everyone's a bit like, oh, it's a cat expert. Great. Mind also, you then again. What do you surely expect you a cat expert to look like? Surely you would, would you not have done any research you know, going into the show being like, oh, let's see who the man is coming here. They would have told you his name or something. Do you think? Yeah, like, I guess they wouldn't just be like, surprise, there's yeah. a stranger at your door. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like there would have been some Princess Diana. Yeah. Good that you're here, man. We've been uh, very anxiously waiting for your arrival. See what you can do here. We got Avery about two years ago. Lollipop. And uh, when we first got her, you know, she was that kitten ball of energy that you expect. She has not grown out of it. She's just into everything. Avery is so true and to the Sphinx breed that I had barely me. sat down and she was already climbing the walls. So, she got? Imagine peace as tattoos. Imagine all the peace. I don't know how big this apartment is, right? And I know it's obviously a bit like dogs, different cats when you have different needs. Like, do Sphinx cats need a little bit more like space? Are they more? Maybe. I mean, if, like, if maybe a it's cat... cooped up in a small apartment and exactly. it needs more space. I think we're going to probably see again that thing that we saw last time, which was like, let's give her a scratching post. Let's let her sit on the ceiling for a mm -hmm. bit and then we'll see how she is. And we'll also get her out of this cupboard. Yeah. Oh, no. What we're going to do is I want you to get the cat litter, put it into a cup and rot it in your little cupboard. In your and fridge, yeah. Put it, it in yeah. a blender and yeah. sniff it every day. This is, this is one of the things that she Love. does. Yeah. I mean, in, as a result of her being everywhere, this frog? Uh, she destroys things. These figures over here are all limited edition. These aren't regular toys that you see. Um, These aren't regular toys. No. They're adult <laughs> toys. From the art of I love the house. Donkey Kong in my also, pussy. Also, she runs out the door whenever anybody opens it. My job here is to get you on the same page as Avery. I need you to understand the world the way Avery sees it. Mm -hmm. His beard is very interesting. Yeah, it? it is. I like those glasses, though. They're quite unusual. Mm -hmm. They look like the glasses that the woman who's... It's because you're really flat-chested. It's because you're really flat-chested. Oh, my God. And once you do that... Mm -hmm. You die. I, I, you die. I think things will be... Once you pop, you in fact cannot stop. Just take a tour of the territory. Probably. So if mm -hmm. you can okay. take me around the house, that'd be great. Happily, yeah, come Let's on. Let's do it. Let's have a house I'm tour time, eager everybody. To see the animal Country room, because not only is it Sean's workspace, but it's a room that Avery is drawn to like a magnet. Move and I'm going to here. My beard. Oh yes. boy, we've got a lot. Get on um, the wall. Starting here, we've got an African ball python. If Avery was in here, she'll be She's trying to get into the cage. That's she does the try to get in. Yes. If she, she could, she would. Yeah. So her little like prey instinct so has kicked in like yeah. all, all times. This is Avery's buddy. Look, girl, it's your friend. Hello. Now, Avery. Oh. Not sure. No, that's not okay. <laughs> get down. See how curious she is. Which is cool. I mean, I would be too. That's but... not curiosity, sir. That's hunter mode. Yeah. And you're just going. The... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Stop yeah. Stop doing yeah. all that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, look, I'll make friends. Oh, like, look, my cat one ate is... my snake. Yeah. One is literally petrified and dying. If I was a little cat, snake came down towards me. I'm not gonna, you know, try and uh, yeah. 
jump in the cage with them. The I gotta... editing in this show is quite interesting because it tries to make it more vicious than it is, I yeah. think. But, I mean, the cat is clearly very interested in this snake, but in a way that's like, you, if you see a cat with its ears go like this, you're a bit like, oh, she's going to attack whatever that is. Mm -hmm. it's, it's amazing because I, I know what you love to do. I know the snakes are your thing. Yeah. And watching her zip into these guys and zoom in on them as as prey it gives us a really heavy clue he knows the as team. to what she makes she's on the game <laughs> it's gonna make her happy sphinxes are very inquisitive by nature they're constantly on the move constantly like looking for stimulation side, her fascination so with the animals in sean's room is inherent to who she is yes this is just a great example What's she doing of there? avery just that's her case. She's into everything. Everything's hers, you know? We're Why is this guy being like, oh, I'm just letting the cat in with the geckos. Oh, isn't it fun? Like, have a second of critical yeah, yeah, thinking. Strange, yeah. You're letting a predator in a cage with a small creature. Like, even if you were just like, oh, I love the cat. Do you not love your geckos enough to be not expose them to a hunter? Yeah, because I'm sure they'd be terrified. Yeah, they'd yeah. literally be like, oh, die. Like, there's a reason why she's yeah. interested in what's going on in this house this like upturned wash basket mm -hmm. oh are we Some gonna have drug deal uh, yeah an aneurysm a gecko drug deal her house not the other way around come here girl her curiosity definitely pushes her to a level to where i get uncomfortable when i turn around and i see her on top of you something yeah. you, let her you know potential pages. knocking something over right, right. The and the concern more than anything it's is oh, it's a hedgehog. oh that would have been so scared oh the poor little hedgehog that is it. what we are watching here is like negligence this yeah. man should not have a snake above a hedgehog with geckos and a mm. cat that's like, these are all mine. I'm also, going to eat them. Also, it just them. feels like they're that, such a tiny room. You've crammed all these things inside. It just feels a bit, and like, it'd probably smell as well. I'm not getting like wonderful vibes. No, I love I, it. No. Her getting into something to where that animal escapes. I just wish that she knew her boundaries. He's like, Sean, you see me? him like sweating in anger. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like, are you stupid? Why? No, what are you doing? What are you doing? The thing is, the thing is, like, I don't, I don't know the intelligence of all the animals, but like, the cat to me personally would probably be more intelligent than the hedgehog, and the hedgehog's gonna be really confused and a bit worried what's going on. You think if the cat just... goes to bite it and it gets hedgehog pins in its mouth, that's so unfair to everything. And the thing is, it's like you're putting another animal that has nothing to do with this, really. Like you're mm. making an animal have a fear response to teach the cat a lesson, but like you're like pu you're almost like punishing the hedgehog. This poor little hedgehog. We're we gonna feed you to the hedgehogs. Mm. <laughs> Technically, the most intelligent animal in this room should be this man. Yeah. If he's got all these pets, but yeah. apparently he's just like, no, the cat can play with it. No, the cat went up. What's he gonna get out? He's going to, I've got these two little mice. Yeah. I oh, love, they yeah, love yeah. this cat. Yeah, it's like yeah, their yeah. mum. It's to the point of saying that those animals are off limits to Avery, but he's sort of teasing her with a no without giving her a yes right behind him. Do and that's just not working. I don't like. Gotta that. show you a truly. Amazing oh, arachnid. Honey, was it? Spider, I want to watch a spider go. Grass. This is called a cave spider. I have these little huts here that I built. You know, that's kind of replicating the caves and the nooks and crannies that they'd be, you Not know, crannies. squeezing into no. in a natural Great idea, yeah. I seriously can't. Those bits of cardboard do not have the same texture as rock. Spider, yet he has no idea how to meet the needs of his exotic cat. There's Avery on top of the cage. <laughs> Turn our back and what happens? Avery yeah, jumps up. Yeah, I guess she is exhausted. Over. Yeah. Oh, that's it's just embarrassing. Like... Avery. I think Jackson got the perfect visual of how she is, generally speaking. I don't I mean, think Avery I, no, knows no, 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 what no. I mean. He got the perfect visual of how you are. You are, yeah. It's yeah. like, they're like, oh, the cat's the problem. Are you absolutely that unhinged? Mm. Can't see beyond your own fringe, girls, no, that this no. is, that you are the issue here. Call Lombardirect.com on 0800 2 15,000. It's to be on good behavior. So let me, let me tell you what I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. There's obviously a problem. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's he, not he Avery's problem. He needs more sun lotion, babe. It's, right, right. it's what you guys have and don't have in here that's causing the problem. Okay. Avery doesn't have a natural habitat. The typical Sphinx is incredibly active. So actually, Avery is pretty normal for a Sphinx. They're high energy cats mm -hmm. and they need outlets that satisfy the breed. What a One surprise. of the things that I'm not seeing here mm -hmm. is any place for her to perch, any place for her to get some vertical distance from the floor and mm -hmm. do it comfortably. She's not just climbing blinds to climb blinds. She's trying to see the world outside. I want to start seeing ways for her to get up on behind. sills and things. Got the world up here. Take a critical eye to mm -hmm. is that you have one piece of cat furniture in the whole house. Yes, you and know, it's not very high. But again, a, 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 and you've put it right next to a thing that you don't want the cat on. Yeah, the exact yeah. same level on the mantelpiece. You're like, you don't want the cat on the mantelpiece. You thought I'd put this thing that's like directly 
there and then, and then tell, tell her off when she like Decides moves off to of call, it. Yeah. yeah. Ridiculous. I also want to say that this room is quite compact. It looked very small. And I'm a little yeah. bit like, oh, you need to, like, I don't know if you should have all these animals in such a small this space. This is the thing. That was my argument at the very beginning. It was mm. like, I'm not, like, if you want, I'm not saying people shouldn't be allowed to have pets and everything, but like, you have to have something that like is going to be able to integrate into your life well. Yeah. If you live in a tiny apartment, unfortunately, some of the times you have to go, probably isn't the best time for yeah. you to have an animal because it's, it's it's not about fair and unfair. You're bringing another living being into it. Ex- you like, you into are this. being unfair to that animal. Yeah, absolutely. If I lived here and I had two huskies oh, you would apartment, yeah, you would never be able to do it. Never be. And that yeah. would be so cruel. Yeah. It might sound crazy, but this setup is pretty much how it's been more or less for the past six years of living here. Yeah. Four of those years were with our old cat mm-hmm. and she seemed to be fine. The Sphinx needs spaces to Different climb and breed. explore. No, yeah. Sean's Different. old cat was not a Sphinx. Avery is. She might have also been 20 years old and not interested yeah. in doing all that. Well, so the, thing, like, the, cat, the cat died while they were there. So if they lived four years was with that other cat. So I'm assuming the cat was only like maybe 10 years old when they moved there. So like, of course, a 10 year old cat isn't going to be the same as a newborn Sphinx. Yeah, like, exactly. Like a young Sphinx with lots of energy that wants to like hunt things and run around and mm. chase things and climb up wall is not going to have the like, same energy. I've actually said about a human, like, oh, my grandmother used to live with us and she died four years in because she was 89 but yeah. actually this why is this two year old toddler running around and not be happy my yeah. eight year old grandmother was yeah. like it's like well of course you would never <laughs> say that you would never say no, that no you would never would you so, silly man he needs to be re-educated yeah and, and beat, concentrate beat. on the cat he's got right now the next thing we're gonna do is beat you over the head with this <laughs> more fun good he's being so much more polite than I would be to this man I'd be oh like, I would you be you yeah. dumb bitch what's yeah. wrong with you yeah this is the fun part yay <laughs> The toy that I think I'd like to play with mm-hmm. is the taser. bad dragon dildo. Obviously, ground prey. This is a mouse. Okay. Okay, and with a little tail and all that. Oh, this looks exciting. Okay, so, oh. yeah, obviously, she's dying for something like this, right? Mm-hmm. And you see that in your animal room, too, right? Yeah. I mean, you sure. Yeah. As soon as, yeah. So, this is the kind of activity that I am really gonna wanna draw out of her. Mm-hmm. Toys are a great way to stimulate right. the prey drive Stop. of any sphinx. In the meantime, it's a sneaky way to lead them towards the places you want them to be and away from the places you don't want them yeah, to be. Yeah, like And if you make the- I, Like, I know that this may be, like, not everyone has common sense or whatever. Like, I haven't had cats for, I don't know, 25 years at this point. Mm-hmm. Probably even longer than that. But I'm just like, this is, like, common knowledge, surely. Yeah. Like, you have to play with your cats. You have to play with your pets. You have That's to give thing, them like, mental do they, stimulation. Do they not play with it? Yeah, do they, do they just sort of go, uh, where's your hyperactive and annoying? Play with your pets. Because the thing is, again, I've not owned cats since I was literally like a child, but like, doesn't anyone know that you need one of those, like that little thing that he's got there with yeah. the little thing on the end. Like, that's such a common toy for a cat to have. And they seem like, they're like, what? What's that? Like, <gasps> wow. Should we get you a snake? <laughs> Should we get you a lovely yeah, snake? A nice barracuda. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah it's a, a huge fish. anaconda. A yeah. Would you like a nice koi pond? <laughs> yeah, put you in the pond. No. Oh. This world's sort of a playground. Mm-hmm. The, the, again, the need to escape will be less. This toy which is our laser pointer. Mm-hmm. See Ooh. how she's responding to that? Is this, is mm-hmm. this allowed? That is the to toy that you use now? when she's starting to do something you don't so. want her to do. Anyone can use a laser pointer to guide a cat where they want him to go. It can into be used to guide Avery the, away yeah, from the door, the which will make Lindsay and Sean's comings and goings a whole oh, lot dear. easier. Suddenly Biscuit is very excited about this cat. <laughs> Are you seeing Are you gonna bark? Oh. Do you wanna bark at the Biscuit? No, he's yawning. Oh, Ty, I'm very bored that of this That cat's probably the same size as him. Yeah, true. Where are you? You see this? Mm, she's fixated on her. There we go. What is that? There we go. What is that? Yeah, she would have she would have bolted out by now. This is what now was yours. That? Sorry, why was there little like drums being like Bongo drums? Crash bandicoot. So again, coming in the door, and that is all she needs. I think that. Jackson um, is telling us things that um, we wouldn't have thought of by ourselves. For Sean and Lindsay. Then you shouldn't have pets. That, if you again, haven't got the is... critical thinking of being like, oh my God, this animal needs to play with something. So telling. No wonder why they're on this show. I don't... <laughs> my cat from hell, but it's actually my attitude. Like the first ones, I, don't, I didn't have so much of like a, a, an angry response towards no. them. But like for saying we wouldn't have thought about having one of the most basic toys that every cat had. Like... Doesn't make any sense, does bonkers. it? Bonkers. Diddly onkers, girl. That first episode that we watched, especially as she like raised them as twins, they, they, those two little cats, 
and one of them was quite different. It did almost seem like, oh, well, maybe you've just got like a wonky cat. Yeah. Like, sometimes our little beasts are just a bit wonky and a little bit different. But yeah, no, this one is very much the fault of the owners. Yeah. I can't believe he's like, this spider, I'm giving it this bit of cardboard that looks like it's old cape. Like, no, it doesn't. You could literally just get, you could actually buy like a, a wood arch and with some stones and actually make it feel like, you know, some And not more... keep it in that tiny little plastic Not a tiny thing. plastic thing. So... With some cardboard. I actually feel like this man is being a bit cruel. Yeah, I didn't like it. I'm having them work with the laser pointer at the front door, put up shelving units and a cat tower in the living room, and keep the animal room off limits. Yes. Because if Avery gets in Obvious. there unsupervised, all hell could break loose Obvious. again. Obvious. What if he's not there? Yeah. Yeah, and the cat like, jumps in that cage and it falls over. Yeah. And instantly dead. List of homework and a video camera so they could document their progress. Oh, 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 see what was going on. Oh, oh look. look. A they cat emailed me the videos functional. and I'm eager to talk to them about what I saw. Well, hang on. Just watch there when the cat jumped up. That cage does there. this. If the, the cat jumps at a... Oh, yeah. Knock the whole thing over. What's up, baby? What's up? Are we not looking at you for eight seconds? Oh, look at me. I'm eager to talk to them about what I saw. I saw you on only hey, 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 hey. One week later. I just, do you I have like, something to say? I feel like a week isn't long enough. It absolutely isn't long enough. I don't know if they could really do like a, Why we came back a year later. Why have they put that in the cat's thing? Oh. They're just like, oh, we got this nice toy for the cat, but it's unusable. What's point? What's point? Oh, they've been eventful as always. <laughs> yeah, they've been good. The first thing I want to talk to you guys about is the exercise that you were doing at the door with her. What right. it comes down to really is the concept of commitment to your actions. Yes. I need Lindsay to see how she's exiting and entering the room the wrong way oh, and how Sean's actually doing that? it the right way. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do Lindsay walking in the door. Hello oh, there. Hang on. Anything to be a yeah, and, yeah, but on a lovely wig. Why don't you try on that lovely wig? Why don't you try on that <laughs> lovely <laughs> wig? So what I'm seeing so far is they've been gone a week and he's come back and they're like, haven't changed? No, it doesn't. There's been know. no improvement whatsoever. Hello! Ah, <laughs> oh, look at my baby! Oh. She's been on America's Next Door. Yep. Yeah. Okay. You got it, yeah. That's Lindsay walking in the door. Now I'm gonna do Sean walking in the door. Sean. Beat. <gasps> Nail okay. polish on the dootsie. Oh! You see the difference? Yeah. Okay, now the difference is he was aware, but he was committing to the action. You're, you're moving from fear, he's moving from confidence. That's the only difference. All right, this wonderful cat tree that you guys bought. What? I commend you on. Thank you. Yeah, we're pretty happy with it. She's pretty happy with it, which is She's more important. Yeah. Oh, you know, Sean, I see. saw in home oh. video, you showed her how to use it, and oh. boom, 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 she was up. It's a lot of fun just what you know, the, when she first jumped up on, we were both like, yes. So here's the thing. I mean, we're creating this world of vertical space also to play into the fact that She's a sphinx. I really want her to jump from here to the valance confidently. Mm -hmm. We can move this back eventually, but I think what I'd really like to do is reposition this. Goodbye deposit. She can go hoppity hop, here, here. It's almost like walking. Yeah. I mean, look, she's naturally so curious. Mm -hmm. Ta-da! Like <laughs> That's girl. the first time she did it. Do you know what's really funny? They've just said that. Look, so he moved it right, so the cat could go across right. Here, to there. Here. It's almost like walking. Yeah. But when it, it actually happens, actually so curious. it's moved back. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> the magic of Televisione. That look on her face like, cool, what's mm. it, what's... I actually don't know, like, what is it about cats that want to be, like, high up above everything? I think it's the fact that they're hunters. They want, is like, a bird's is? eye view of is things. Is that what it is? Yeah, because they'll, like, leap off things at stuff. Yeah, like, leap they'll off. leap off on you. Yeah, they will, yeah. Uh... Whenever I get my cat in the future, you come visit, and it'll be like, there's, like, you'll walk, sit down, and the cat, like, appears from the roof. And I won't play with it, and I'll be like, why is your cat so horrible? Your cat's from <laughs> hell. You'll come in. I'll like... come in with my snake and be like, stop <laughs> harassing me. Stop it. Why have I got all these bees? <laughs> I just have a beehive. Uh, yeah, I, I'm actually bringing my pet beehive over. Yeah, yeah, How yeah. dare your cat be upset? <laughs> your cat's from hell. <laughs> my pet beehive. They all have names. Remember them or you're yeah, not my friend bon anymore. Bon Shetta. No, they're all men. Oh, yeah. Crossy. No, because they are, yeah. <laughs> crossy. My crossy beehive. America's next up, crossy bee. A pot of gold at the end of this rainbow. Yeah, because yeah. oh, she's a little Giving a space like Avery room to vertically explore oh, is no. key because they are her a bit breed like dictates I do hate that she has I'm that sorry, I really way hate to them. release energy. Now, that leads me to my next point. I did want you to put toys up. I do want you to repaint this disgusting yellow. <laughs> <laughs> now what, you right? We're gonna come down here, again, another piece of fleece, sisal, something like that. Kay. Destination, the last Some piece fleece. of the puzzle. Mm -hmm. Fleece. Right here. Oh. Yeah, she's fleecing them. I asked you to put a shelf here, I really they do want to still see it, so that she can go jump, boink, 
here she is. And she if she's up at a level, mm -hmm. I don't think she's going to scoot out the door. That's a real necessary addition. Okay. Cool, yeah, a couple zips on the table saw and cut it out and boom, boom. Done. Oh, boom, 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 boom. How about you eat my Oh my god. I do find it quite alarming. They've got cats and like live candles. Oh my god, Because yeah. like, if, if anything's like, nah, da 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 Mind you, we did, didn't we? How did fire. you watch that, um, it was like a video about me on Twitter a little while ago, and it was a cat on a table, and her tail cuts on yeah, fire. Yeah, and it just looks and at it, it like... And it doesn't it's on fire. It just sort of looks back, and it's like, oh. <laughs> what are you doing that for? <laughs> Anything for attention. And then it just carries on. Because they're, they're, there's like a cat and dog playing and the dog's a bit yeah. like... <gasps> and the cat's like, don't. Were you on fire, Stop. Biscuit? Oh, little Biscuit fire. Cut it out and boom. Cut it out. Cut it out. Think about oh, what you've done. One of the things about seeing a sphinx like Avery Charlton. fully engaged is you get to see what their nature is as a cat. Any cat. I do feel like this is quite a small environment very especially for a cat. Uh, yeah. sphinx. Mm -hmm. They work yeah, like... because they're always seeing is this one room, mm. is and it... if the other room is like off pet bound, room, is it like, like a two bedroom apartment with like one is an off bound office? That seems very small. Yeah, but then of course if we're saying like, oh, this cat's house is too small, what's the natural like roaming pattern of a human? Like, are we in far too small environments all the time, and we're like oh, really, really depressed because absolutely. of it? Absolutely. I wake up, I want to kill. In the something. morning, feeling like I you. wake I wanna up, I want to kill something. That's I'll... very relatable to human experience. Yes. I wake up, I want to kill something. Yeah, yeah. Take, I want to yeah. hunt it down, I want to mangle it, then I want to eat something, and then I, I'll sleep for a little while. What we're going to do is give her movie. that mm -hmm. kill time, mm -hmm. okay? This bird, look at that. As tired as she was, she's up again. Yeah, that's a cool toy. Check that out. Now, what it, first, well, first it. what we're going to do is we're going to establish that we are in the air. Now, you guys one? listen. Uh -huh. Exciting. Like, I'm oh, wait. Oh, she, oh, I see what you're into, slut. Yeah, wave it around my house. She oh. loses it, and then you have to present it. Huh. Play for cats is not all about the action. It's about the preparation. When they're focused in on something, that's just equally. See this part right here? Yeah. Look at that, Look at that cat. Tease, <laughs> that's just as big a part as this. Yeah. The running, the jumping. The way Avery should look after a proper play session is what we saw on her side. I really want to keep playing, but my body won't let me. And that's where that's we want her. Soul. That is going to allow us to reset her body clock and regulate her energy. So yes, it's almost like exercising your animal. So I'm making assumptions now. Oh, right, and okay, I don't right, know if this yeah, is how on, it go is, on. But, but I feel like she impulsively bought a cat to try to make him feel better. Yes. So she doesn't actually care about the cat. She doesn't really give a shit. So she's yeah. like, I'm not, because she's like, well, I don't care. Yeah. He has resentment, as he even said at the beginning, towards the whole situation because it was a cat that he didn't necessarily want to begin with because it wasn't his cat and it was out of the blue. So in that process, he has harbored this sort of like lack of interest. Interest in yeah. the cat, which has yeah. now caused the cat to not have stimulation because. All he's doing is get out of the way, get out of the way. So this cat's kind of been thrown into a situation where neither one of them actually kind of really gives a shit. She's got a B tech, and I that's kind of yeah. that's how I've. She's got a B tech. Yeah, I feel like that's the uh, you know the, the vibe I've gotten from watching this. I think that is also very accurate. Mm. I think that this is a bit of an unfortunate situation for the cat, really, because both people have been a bit neglectful. Mm -hmm. Keeping her off of things. That's Oops. the problem. And then I have. This area here that's been pretty consistently a problem. This is my suggestion you for you. Cool. You value yeah. these toys a lot, I know that. Mm -hmm. So we have to repurpose this cabinet mm -hmm. so that you have things, like maybe you have a, a loose side front to this, put some hinges on it, something where you can display them the way you want to display them. You, oh, yeah. you want them to be out. Yeah. At the same time, you want them protected. Yeah, now that I've shown cabinet. Sean and Lindsay the possibilities of what can be done in the I'm living room. I'm going to burn their house. I'm going to sit in the past. Play with vertical space territorial confidence. Now I feel like I can bring that into the animal room and show them that they can do sort of the same thing and have Sean be confident with that. Wait, is he going to Now, is he, is we're gonna take this room and she's like, I'm in, I'm in. <laughs> Somebody make sure to keep an eye on her at all times. I want you to relax. I want you to be okay yeah. with her being around. Sean has to see the beauty in allowing Avery into the animal room. He needs to know that providing her with cat TV is an amazing way to drain off that natural sphinx energy. Cat TV? I want to give her 
appropriate perches. So here we have an inappropriate perch because this inappropriate perch leads to up there. Yeah. So what I would like to do is perhaps have something that is further out. I mean, I've worked many years with things called cat window sills. So it, it comes off the sill, but it's sturdy and it's far enough away and it'll hang lower than the sill. Yeah. They both hang low. Can you say it again? Respect and admiration for what Sean does as a profession and the care that he uh, shows oh, no, for the I, 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 in his care, the environmental enrichment. I just want to see the bins. That light come on in his eyes. But look, he doesn't like this cat, does he? He's so much look, more interested. There's oh. like bugs inside little things. So you want the cat's going to jump up there, but knock one of the bugs off the side, and then there's suddenly crickets all over the floor. So, yeah, they look like feeding bugs, mm. don't they? Like to feed the, the wigs. I just want to see that light come on in his eyes, where he shows that same he consideration. Cat, to be fair, see. like he's already got a lot on his plate. I imagine, like if I was suddenly very interested or had a lot more time for my exotic animals and my partner brought home a cat and was like there you go and then just went to work I would be like can you can you not have done this actually every aspect in their relationship in their like keeping of animal husbandry could be fixed with communication. Yeah. I feel really quite sad for this cat. I'd be so angry if someone gave me a pet as a gift. I'd be yeah. so yeah, angry. Yeah, I'd be like, can you, like, we need to not do any of all that. Mm -hmm. To Avery's environment. I think he's being because much nicer than I Because if not, Avery be. will yeah. not get better. Oh, that's and not now it's ball. time for a kitty bit. How fast can a domestic cat run? Oh. 800 miles an hour. 30 miles per hour Walk or 45 speed. miles per hour. Say. Find out after say. the break. There you go. Oh, oh. Oh. To How fast day. can a domestic cat run? How fast? They can run up Is to 30 wig? miles per hour. Oh, yeah, 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 woman. Yeah, I can't go into school zone. But Avery's not a he bad cat. Mm. She's just a sphinx who wasn't provided with a proper the environment. Their home is becoming a place where she can thrive. And with Sean letting her into the animal room... I don't room, think even a human could thrive in this room. <laughs> the, the reason why I say that is because I know that if you... Maybe you've got, like, specific animals that need the darkness, but, like, this room is so dark. Mm -hmm. If I spent, like, my whole life working in this room with these animals in the dark, my mental health would dive so fast. Yeah. So no wonder why some of these cats and some of these people are feeling like, ah! He's finally embracing Avery and letting go of the past. I don't think he is. The room is I symbolic is in a way. Do you yeah. know what I mean? And, and by, by, by bringing it's her also in been there. It's not long enough time for you and, to make and that saying, conclusion. Be with me here. Mm -hmm. it, huge okay. step. Let's have fun. Huge step. Yeah. I love that, and I miss that, you know, with with Sundari. You coming here has really given us the opportunity. To I just don't understand why you've suddenly, you've got a cat tree there, and you've put an ornament in the top. You could have moved this cat Avery thing I completely into agree. a different room. Completely agree, because... He, the little cat was obviously like walking across here and the man was like, I don't want her touching all my adult toys. Like you've just literally giving her a ladder yeah. to that area. I don't, but now you've just put, instead of moving it, you've just put this like- You've made it unusable. So you've like, once again locked her to the floor. Doesn't make any sense. Talk about that. Talk about Sundari and that loss, which will honestly forever, till the day that I die, I will love and I will miss that cat. Of course. Well, you know, she's a part of my of heart. Pet, isn't it? They're yeah. not here forever. They're here for a great so time. So emotional. I mean, still, two years uh, in that cat's that's part of having a pet. I mean, you his look... glasses look very much. He really flatches. He really flatches. Yeah, he really flatches. What a lovely wig. Losing that's tough. It, it, it's part of the deal, right? But um, we've been able to talk about that, how that was hard. And now, and how it's not that about those you. resentments mm. were there. It's about your wig. Right. I, I'm, I, I don't know if anyone here in the audience is going to agree, but I find it very difficult to extend sympathy for somebody who's like, it's, I, my, I'm the victim, I'm yeah. really sad when you are actively making animals in your environment probably feel just as sad as this. Yeah. This is really an important revelation for Sean. He needs I to agree. experience this grief, to move through it so that he can finally have a relationship with the cat that's right in front of him. Oh, she's a psychologist. But she was like, I'm gonna get a cat in my cat because I'll make it feel better. Yeah. You know. Uh, uh, today I get to find... She died two weeks later. She did. <laughs> now whether Sean has actually embraced everything that Avery is, which is a young, active a young sphinx. Go go hey. Fast hey paced business world. Good. Does he How actually doing? play a guitar? Good. Yeah, yeah he's in a band. Oh, so, hey, but I'm walking funny. into a veritable yeah. sphinx paradise. There are all kinds of places for her to climb and explore and survey her domain. We, oh, come here, Cat POV. Oh, I didn't even know that shelf. You're a not oh, a sphinx. Oh, they even put another one up on the TV. Let's show Jackson what we've been up to. Come on. Oh, oh, come here. Beat. Oh 
Oh, righteous. <laughs> they are a bit like Gollum, aren't they? Mm. Oh, come on, righteous. <laughs> oh, she wants it so bad. Yeah. And there's a lot of, uh, a lot of new stuff going on, huh? Okay, well, I'm glad they're about to be listen. The addition of the door shelf is a way to keep Avery up and still looking out the door without being on the ground, which actually encourages her to run right out. Now I walk out the door. Oh, yeah, she's just interested. Now I walk out the door, and you look at the neighborhood. Yeah, what are you going to do? Absolutely nothing. Nothing. She just explodes with yeah, excitement. Yeah, kaboom! Successful Sean and Lindsay have been in transforming their home into a sphinx-friendly environment. Yeah. I had this blanket. Uh -huh. The most comfortable, wonderful blanket in the world. I would wrap myself up in it every winter. Oh my God, did you donate the blanket to the cause? Yeah. I cut up the blanket. <laughs> Sean. I realized it was the per it was like meant to be, dude. The, the size was perfect, and it actually had two pieces. So when I cut it. This is rocking. <laughs> Nobody's when interested in your blanket story. <laughs> like a pocket. So I tucked it all back behind here, and then I used those and put this. I don't know if oh, you remember. Oh, 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 yeah. This was just wood. So now this is really soft. She's familiar with it, the smell, the Does feel. she hang here? She totally. Yeah. This is her, like, she's all about it up here. I covered this before? with clear acrylic. Oh, right. There you go. Kitty right. proof, right? So now Sean's Spruce happy. And, Everyone can see his <laughs> toys. Yep. Yeah, you guys have done. An absolutely amazing job. You've it just you've embraced this. You've so actually like paid well. attention to your cat. Now, mm -hmm. wow. speaking of the embracing After what, part, four years, was it? After four, I want to see the two, animal. Right? Yeah, let's Min. check it out. Min oh. is. And hey, in girl. she comes. Oh. Yep, she lets you know wherever she is. Cool. <laughs> Move some things around. Right. Let's go into her new space. I still oh, don't know if I agree with like no. it leaping at the hedgehog. <laughs> to harp on my old kitty too much again, but uh, was the time that I got to spend with her while I was doing my work, having there my buddy go, around. There you go. Now I've got Avery around. What's funny is before when I was Octopus. distracted by Avery because yeah. I was afraid of her getting into something or causing some sort of problem. Yeah. Now, now, now I I'm have distracted by her because yes. she's so much fun to watch. The interactions, and you can see all of her expressions, you know, the ears go back, her face squishes up, her eyes she get big. Right, right. She does, yeah. So she engaged. The with the issues addressed and the behavior under control, Sean is in that I mean, that cat still looked like it was about to jump. It's prey, it's still engaging her prey drive. I feel like, you know, things have gotten a lot better. I'm not, there's not the tension in the air when I get home. Um, She's wearing an octopus. Sean's in a good oh, mood, which Cthulhu makes me girl. in a good mood. Avery's Fish really sexual. happy. And so now, instead of driving us crazy, she's actually entertaining us. Driving she's the about to watch. Instead of driving us crazy, she's actually now driving the stage. Uh, uh, she drives the kids to school. Well. I've got some thoughts. I have none, I've dead. None? I've died. Died. I yeah, died. passed away. Yeah. Right. So my lovely. So my lovely. I've, I've got, got, got a wig. A wig. I'm glad to get... my toupee, I've got a toupee. This isn't really my scalp. Lovely. What a what a lovely wig. So my loves, I don't think that throughout this episode I had any confidence in those owners. No. Like, <laughs> if you can't meet, like, okay, yes, the cat's an exotic cat, but like. Every owner should know you have a toy, you have a place where they can climb. Yeah. Like that's basic knowledge to me. Like even as a child, I knew that. Oh, is it a little wig? If they can't manage like a, just a cat. And I know that a Sphinx cat is like more than just a cat. They're like yeah. an exotic cat. We didn't even see the amount of fully, the full amount of the exotic animals that he had there. But yes. like a snake, a hedgehog. I still feel like putting that cat or allowing that cat into that room with like all those little prey animals. It just doesn't seem right yeah i'd no, like to still... open this up to the floor because like what do you think because would you the, do that the thing is as well is the cat was standing on those cage and things bef beside it to jump onto it but like his response to that was we're gonna put a little shelf in front of it but he was already standing on things there to jump towards it anyway so i don't know how that's actually helping the situation yeah i'm a little bit confused about that because i would probably say maybe don't let the cat in this room it's yeah. gonna upset everything do we need like a hedgehog whisperer to come in and be like obviously don't let that cat mm -hmm. see the hedgehog yeah. Obviously, because that poor little hedgehog is going to be very upset. <laughs> well, my lovelies, let me know what you think about what we've seen in today's episode. Completely different to the first one we saw. Oh, yeah, we have a, we have more of a, a reaction to yes, this one. Yes, I, I feel a, a bit more that there was more in this episode. More that I was like, this is wrong. Yeah. You shouldn't be doing all this. Yeah. But, my lovelies, as with that, it is time for the Patreons. You can oh, see yourselves oh, yeah. on the screen right here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Today's Instagram shout out goes to, oh gosh, how do I say this? Ollie Oxen37. There oh, you yeah. go. Oh, yeah. Ollie, Ollie Oxen yeah. Yeah. 
If you want to be able to the chance of being featured in my next video's Instagram shout out, make sure you follow me on Instagram. It is xxluxaria. Yeah. Over there, I post my fashion and travel content. Also, check out the video that we did on Rolishwe's channel where yeah. we reacted to Boomer Nonsense. Nonsense. Was it the third? Third episode? I think it's our third one. Third we've done one people yeah. seem to love it so they much. They do. It definitely gets the blood pressure up. And as always, I want to say a massive thank you to my top tier Patreons. Orcos Samoji, Ariadia X, Becky Johnson, Beebles32, Shell Herman, Christy Crownover, Christina Kyle, ContraPoints, Elizabeth Stone, Emily Worsham, Eric Castillo, Finn Dunham, Jen Martin, Caitlin Wright, Larissa Says Relax, Leanne Jones, Les Banana, Min Min Tia, Mariah Sherman, Miss Kiss, Novembrix, Paola Rivera, Ryan Vita, Steph Utech, The Chaos Collective, and Vicky Walsh. And you know what, my loves? I think I'm going to leave it on the note of don't surprise someone in your life with a pet. No, I agree. Don't do that. <laughs> Very good. Ostrich in this apartment. <laughs>